Relaxation at Vasquez. <laughs> Alright, so what are you cooking today? Uh, we're cooking some teriyaki kebab. And you guys are from the Vasquez Culinary Arts? Yes, we are. So you guys are running the Seniors Booth. Yep. What, is, what is the Senior Booth raising money for? In, in As a whole, we are raising money for um, prom, grad night, senior class, uh, paraphernalia, and just um, anything to benefit senior class. We're selling t-shirts. Bye. Bye. Free gold tickets or $15. Mrs. Barcelo, can you tell me a little bit about your booth? Yes, my booth is here because we're opening the Meadowlark Library, which has been closed for 11 years. Okay. Because it was a classroom. Oh, okay. And so I'm, I retire and I'm working part time getting it set up, and then I'll be the part time library. Okay, and this is a little bit about your booth. Just tell me a little bit about it. Uh, this is called Hugs for Books. Uh, I'm supposed to be sitting here on the throne, and when people come by for one ticket, they give me a hug, and I give them a candy hug. Oh, okay. And each ticket will go towards buying more books for the library. Follow me. You don't want to go over to one of the these girls. Let's go out for fights. Okay, Cheyenne Beekner, you are participating in the Haunted House this year mm -hmm. in room 500. Tell me a little bit about that this year. Um, well, this year we basically, it's basically kind of the same every year, but we do different rooms. Okay. Uh, last year we did like a whole like Chucky room thing. Okay. And that really got people. That's like the big room, like the doll room and the clown room. Okay. And this year we have a psych ward and we have a doll room and a clown room, like a circus kind of thing. Okay. And we also have a hallway where we have two vampires. Look at this. We've got a scary spider, we've got a dragon, we've got Toy Story going here. Oh, look at this, a little cupcake. Come and look at all these adorable little zero to two years of age. Very cute. Alright, you make your circle so the judges can judge. 
Okay, tell me a little bit about this fish you won. A friend won it for me. Okay, that was a good shot. The People's Choice will get this trophy. Best overall cake, okay, judged by technique um, and creativity by our judge, who's around here somewhere. Hey, maybe not. Um, we'll get this trophy. And then all the others get the ribbons as well. Our highest bidder gets this lovely plaque. Mr. Mummy's creator. <laughs> Okay, and you are hosting the cake auction this year? So to speak. All right, and this known as the cake queen. Okay, and this is the silent auction? We're trying a new thing this year. We're doing a silent auction. Um, we're seeing if that will generate a little bit more money toward the PTSO. And uh, people go around and they bid, and the highest bidder wins at one, at, you know, and then we award the prizes. Okay, how's the bidding going this year? Um, a little slow. This is new to people and they aren't quite sure what to do with it. I think the live rapport is a little bit better. Here we are at Trunk or Treat at the Acton Park. Today is October 31st. All of the pumpkins here really makes it feel like Halloween. Can you tell me a little bit about this trunk or treat? Well, this isn't the trunk or treat. Actually, this is the Jack O' Lantern Jamboree where we okay. give away free pumpkins. Okay. And we open them and we carve them and we light them up. Okay. And we display them while, while the children trunk or treat. We also have face painting and tattoos and free popcorn and a scavenger hunt. Here you're looking at the light and displayed pumpkins all carved out here on the table at the Acton Park. Thank <laughs> you. 